Jacquees, the football player, started when I was six years old. I played Pop Warner football. I played on every level so far, and hopefully I'm trying to take my game to the next level. I'm a good running back because my running style is different from most guys. I use my power and also speed and my quickness to make guys miss. Winning the Heisman would be an honor, but winning it for my school would be a dream come true. That's from Oregon State's push to get the uh, Jaquiz Rogers Heisman Trophy bandwagon started in 08. Quiz became the only player to win the Pac-10's Freshman of the Year and Offensive Player of the Year award in the same season. And his two years with the Beavers, how about this, 5.1 per carry, and he's rushed for 32 touchdowns, 21 of them coming last season. Let's bring in the Pac-10 Offensive MVP, Jaquiz Rogers. We're now starting to hear your name and Heisman Trophy talk. What do you think? Well, the, for the most part, you know, I try not to take it to mind. Uh, you just got to stay humble and stay focused. And you got to win games because if you don't win games, you won't even be mentioned in that Heisman talk later on in the season. Now, the team opens up with a tough game with TCU, who was undefeated in the regular season last year. What's Oregon State's chances against TCU in the opener? I love, I love our uh, preseason. Before. We got TCU, we got Boise State. So it's a time for us to make a name for ourselves and try to uh, beat these top quality teams. I always think it's interesting that when I see your name, there's another Rogers on the team that comes from the same family. You get to play with your older brother. What's it like to go to college at the same spot where your older brother's on the team? Uh, it's great for me because you got somebody always willing on the side of you to push you in everything, school, working out. You know you, you know you got him there to compete with. And you know when you get on that field, he's going to have your back, and I'm going to have his. Nothing like family. And my older brother was my idol. You also say that one of your idols growing up was Barry Sanders. You're a running back. Barry Sanders was a running back. Why is Barry Sanders Jaquiz Rogers' idol? Uh, because the way he makes guys miss, I try to um, relate my game to that. I always try to make the first defender miss, you know, try to get in the open field and just, uh, try to win matchups. Now the Pac-10 is pretty wide open this year and last year Oregon State played against Oregon for the right to win the conference championship. Who's the favorite in the Pac-10 coming into this season in your mind? I'm going to say my team because I always have confidence in my team and our ability. Uh, we just got to keep working hard and just get this repetition going and just compete against each other every day in practice and I'll take a day off and good things will happen for us. If you're the state champs, that may translate to be the conference champs. You had the battle against Oregon last year to, to win the conference championship. It didn't go your way. Are you over that Oregon loss yet? It happened two years in a row, so I, I think third time is a charm. And yes, <laughs> I'm over that loss. you got to move forward. <laughs> well, good luck and go get them, and we'll certainly be watching. And thank you very much for spending a few minutes with us. All right, thanks for having me. Andre, I'm going to send it over to you. Who and what do you think of when the name comes up, Quiz Rogers? Well, we like to compare here at College Football Live, especially when they're two really good football players. But you, you look at it, and I think he reminds me. I know Barry Sanders is his idol, but he reminds me of Darren Sproles of Kansas State going back there. And we're going to take a look. Darren Sproles could get outside. He had the speed to hit the home run, just like Jaquiz Rogers. Able to get outside with the speed, but the patience in between the tackles. Not big guy. Now they are small in stature, but they run between the tackles well and patience is of the essence with these two guys patience setting up blocks hiding behind the offensive line and then they're on the second and third levels of the defense and oh yeah by the way the first guy that gets there he can forget about it you better show up in packs when you try to track down Jaquiz Rogers he's a guy Eric that can play can hit the home run at any time but the patience for a young runner it's tough to teach and Brock four offensive linemen return for Oregon State this year. He's, he's going to have a fantastic year. And by the way, he's still two times faster than Eric. <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, let's follow up with the offensive sure. linemen. I want you to take the rest of the offense other than Jaquiz Rogers at Oregon State. You got eight starters back. I mean, that is huge. And we'll slide that in and take a look at all of the pieces coming around. And it's not just Quiz Rogers and his brother, which, by the way, a friendly competition, which always helps. But the four starters up front. Now, one thing you notice missing should jump out to you. 
no starting quarterback. And very quietly, I teased it earlier, Mike Riley, he develops his talent very quietly. Sean Canfield, Matt Moore, Derek Anderson, all in the NFL, former quarterbacks, they know how to develop talent. But Ryan Katz, he'll be the starter moving into this fall. Big shoes to fill. If he can carry the void, if he, if he can fill in and really take those reins, and he's going to be tested early with TCU and, and the rest. But if he can take control of that, they've got a great chance to really compete in a wide-open Pac-10.